Well, many of us use delivery apps to get food to our doors. Clark County could give the green light to these robots. UNLV has about 10 of them delivering around campus. A new state law just passed now allows these robots to cross the street. UNLV told lawmakers they'd like them to go here, the U District, the University Gateway, the Echo Apartments, all for student housing. But ultimately, Clark County has to decide whether these robots can cross the street. Here's your delivery. It's funny you see them all running around, you know. It's more convenient too, especially in the trying to beat the heat. These robots have roamed around UNLV for the past year, delivering food to students and staff. They couldn't go far till now. The state legislature passed a law allowing these personal delivery devices to go on crosswalks and cross the street. Now it's up to Clark County if these robots can travel across Maryland Parkway and Tropicana to around 3,000 students and staff. It's nothing compared to like what we have around here. So. UNLV told lawmakers the student union's often very busy and 10,000 students brave long lines for food between classes. There are hopes these robots could reach more housing and workers here, the U District, Echo Apartments, and the Gateway. Students say it could help them avoid a walk to grab a bite late at night. With occasional pedestrian robberies, safety is always a worry. UNLV also says the delivery fee through a robot is cut in half. Crossing Maryland Parkway, I don't know how that's going to work because it's a pretty busy street. Pedestrians themselves have problems crossing this road at the crosswalks, let alone a little robot. I just feel like maybe people wouldn't stop for a robot. Per state law, Clark County will decide where these robots can travel. The company Starship told lawmakers the 75-pound robots go at walking speed. They have $100,000 limited liability insurance. UNLV says the robots stop when they sense an object close by. Will more people use them? One Uber Eats driver also explained to us how it would actually help. When it gets really busy out here, there's definitely not enough people to come around and deliver food a lot of the time. It's hard to find a place to park for your car. So the county starts the ordinance process on Tuesday. UNLV says we appreciate the willingness of Clark County to explore the possibility of expanding food services for UNLV students and staff. We believe it will provide more access to food options on and around our campus. We look forward to working with county officials throughout the process.